Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 23rd of May and the time has just gone 12.40 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the FTSE MIB, the Italian market, or as we call it here on our platform, uh, the Italy 40. Take a look now at the weekly chart. We can see since the lows of 2016, we can see that the Italian market, along with many global, global markets, has had a terrific run. But in, in recent weeks, uh, we have seen a, quite a, a sizable sell-off uh, in, the, in the Italy 40. This is all down to political uncertainty in Italy. Uh, there's a possibility we could have a, have a new government in Italy. Two populist parties, two Eurosceptic and, and anti-Euro parties, could be looking to form a coalition government. Uh, and this is, has rattled investor confidence in the uh, in the country's index. There's even uh, scrutiny being applied to Giuseppe Conte, who's tipped to be the next Italian prime minister. Uh, this allegation that he wasn't entirely truthful on his CV. Uh, this is also adding political uncertainty and pressure to the FTSE, to the FTSE MIV. So we've been drifting lower for the last for the last two or three weeks. Uh, where can we potentially drift lower to? Well, this blue line here is the 50-week moving average. It comes into play at 22,448. And notice how uh, in early parts of 2018, uh, we did see that level act as support. So, so move to the downside from here, we could see uh, the 50-week moving average be targeted at 22,448. Taking a look now at the, weekly ch at the daily chart, we can get, get an idea of how much the market has declined uh, in the past two, or two and a half weeks. As we can see, there's been a sizable sell-off uh, in the past two and a half weeks. This, is, this has also been confirmed by the steady increase in negative momentum on the MACD indicator. The MACD histogram here is, uh, is, is steadily rising. So while the market's driving lower, we can see that the momentum by the bears, by the sellers, is actually on the rise. So if you do manage to kind of push lower here, and if you do manage to drop below this red line, the 20 moving average, and that comes into play at 22,689. Should you move, move south of the 20 moving average, we could be looking at targeting the April low, uh, the early April low of 22,200. And if you go south of there, we could find support from the 22,000 no figure itself. 20,000 is a big psychological number, but also we can see in recent months throughout 2018, it did act as a, a decent area of support. And if you go and if we have a sizable break south of 22,000, we could be looking at, at testing the the lows of 2018, which come into play at 21,452. But the the 200 day moving average, this red line here, has also acted as a significant level uh, in recent months. We can see um, both back back in uh, back in January and also a few times in February, March, it did manage to act as support. So if we do see the market run, into, run uh, find support from the two day moving average at 20,693, we could see the market bounce higher. And if you do manage to see it bounce higher, where could we go? Well, we could potentially bounce back up towards this blue line here at the 50 day moving average, which comes into play at 23,329. Notice how it did manage to act as resistance in both February and, uh, and, also, and also in March. It did actually act as support in April as well. So, while the market has recent history of acting as support and or resistance, it makes it more likely that it will do again in the future. And if you do have a sizable break north of this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, the next area to keep an eye for to the upside would be 24,000, big psychological number. And if you go north of 24,000, we can then become more confident that the wider upward trend is going to continue. And we could be looking at testing the May high of 24,565. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.